adore you for you reign in our lives. Thank you. to the Lord that he, he, he is here in this place. We know of his presence. We are assured of his presence this morning. It is not our will, but his will be done in this place. Just don't care about anything that has distracted you this morning, but just release yourself to the Lord this morning. Father God, we surrender all we have to you, O oh God. All the burdens that you have, O oh God, that are restraining us from coming to you is closed, oh God. Father, we lay them at your feet this morning, oh God. We give you all the praise, oh God. Come and have your way in our lives, oh God. Come and take charge, Holy Spirit. We welcome you in this place. We bow before you, Christ. We lift your voices, lift your voices to the Lord.
Let's call him glorious. You're beautiful in all your ways, oh God. You do excellent and mighty things, oh God. to 
to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Come on, give him another shout of praise. Now help us sing this song. It's a simple dance. Come on. I can't see you dance. Let me see you move. Come on. 
Hallelujah. Keep it going. I praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay, now that was amazing. I don't. I, I, sometimes I don't say this because uh, I don't want the other instrumentalists uh, feeling left out. But I really love electric guitar. That was just sounded amazing. Why well, don't you go ahead and take your seats? Uh, welcome to each and every one of you. We are just gonna uh, jump right in. Now, uh, you know this time we normally have our, our time of prayer and also a giving of our tithes and offerings. Now, we're going to do that, but before we do that, uh, the Sunday school has a presentation uh, that they would, a song that's on their heart they want to share with us. I already heard it once and it's great, uh, so I'm looking forward to it again. So, what we'll do is the Sunday school is going to come forward and do that. They will be released, and then we'll go directly into giving our tithes and offerings, and the prayer team will be up here to pray for anyone that has a need they would like to bring before the Lord. Good morning. So in Sunday school, my Sunday school kids, come on up. Come on up. Come on. You can do this. Come on. Come on. So as they come up, what we've been learning in Sunday school during second service is about Jesus and the miracles that he does. And what the response is, every time you can pour forward these miracles, the response is always praise and praising his name. So our song we're gonna share with you this week is, Lord, I lift your name on high.
Well, welcome to all of you once again, and also welcome to everyone that will be joining us online, either right now, live, or later. We really appreciate all of you that tune in uh, uh, from uh, Sunday to Sunday just to see what God is doing here, and it's good to be in the house of God with you all today. Just a couple quick announcements before we get to the word. Um, next Sunday, the 3rd is our family Sunday. I, I'm seeing t-shirts going out all over the place, so I'm, I'm assuming everyone um, that was able got a hold of their Peffa Runda t-shirts. If you haven't yet, make sure you see your Care and Connect group leader, uh, just so any last minute details can be taken care of there. Uh, if you're able, we would love you to show up next Sunday in your Peffa Runda t-shirt. Now, of course, I'm saying show up in a t-shirt, so that means in general, be casual, show up and make sure all your whole family is here and be casual. Feel free to come to church and, uh, you know, how, uh, how you feel led that, uh, that uh, Sunday, next Sunday. We're going to have a good time. We are going to be outside. Part of what we're going to be doing is games after, of course, after the service. We're not going to play games during the service. Um, but we just want everyone to be comfortable and just have a good time of fellowship. Also, next Sunday, we are taking our uh, a special offering. Besides our regular offering, offering, we're taking a special offering for our outreach fund, which takes care of our care packages that go to people in need and also other outreach uh, aspects that we do here in the church. And uh, as I've been saying for a couple weeks, we just pray and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you on what to give into our outreach fund. Don't, uh, don't think necessarily uh, what spare do I have left over, what, am I, what can I give. Think what is the Holy Spirit inspiring me to give. And, and, and then walk in obedience and, and just bring that offering uh, next week. Whatever the Holy Spirit has put on your heart to give into the outreach fund. That service, we only have one service next week from 10 to noon, and then uh, our fellowship time will happen after that. On the 10th is our Christmas uh, service, and we'll spend a, a great time just singing Christmas carols and, and uh, focusing in on the birth of our Savior and celebrating the birth of our Savior. That service will go from 10 to 1130. And that will also only be one service. And in fact, for the rest of December and into January, as long as Pastor Stanley says that will continue, we will only be holding one service. Pastor Stanley will let us know when we go back to two services. So starting next week, we are going down to one service each Sunday. All right? On that note, he's not a guest speaker. He's not a visiting speaker. He is a special speaker, though, because we don't often get to hear from Elder Steve. And Elder Steve is going to be sharing with us the, the word today. And as he comes, why don't you go around? I see we got some visitors here and everything. Go around and let's welcome everyone warmly into the house of the Lord. Amen.
Amen. Is it okay? Well, here time. Are you using here time? Hello. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Now you can hear me? No. Ah. Hey. Yeah, it's, it's okay? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Noel. Let's clap for media team. Yeah, okay. Uh, pastoral team, church elders, members of Pefaruda, our visitors, good morning. Pray the name of the Lord. Amen. Yeah, thank you. My name is Stephen. Stephen Muchoki. Uh, even though I see, I can see Pharaoh. Pharaoh, you didn't take uh, Sunday school to to the <laughs> church, to the church Sunday school house. Uh, where is? Uh, Last, uh, last week, we were told all our pregnant women <laughs> should, should join Sunday school. <laughs> so, Ver Veronica and who else? <laughs> Me, Maureen. Yeah, they are supposed to be at Sunday school. Okay, today... Today I'm very happy because of the, our team, because of giving me this chance uh, to minister for our church. It's a long time, but all is well. Uh, as we have been listening, this is the month of November. For about three weeks, the Holy Spirit has been speaking to us, to our hearts, about restoring, restore, restore, restore. Mm -hmm. And remember, whenever God speaks, it is good to listen. Amen. So today, we are going to, I'm going to talk about uh, restoration. The theme is, I will restore. Yes. This yes. God sees. Yes. We are going to open our books in the book of Joel, Two, first twenty, first twenty-five. The Bible says, "I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. Great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts and the locust swarm. My great army." that I set among you. This, this is God who spoke through the Joel. He was talking to children of Israel. As we know about the locusts, there are so many types of locusts. So many types. If, uh, if you read uh, in the NIV, no, not NIV, this King James fashion, it says, I will restore you to the years that the locust has, has eaten, the cankerworm, and the caterpillars, and the palmer worm. May greet me, which I sent among you. Remember here, God is speaking himself. Today, he was not telling us that I will pay, or I will pay, or I pay. You will not be paid today for coming to this church. But God is speaking about I will repay, repay. There is pay and repay. Uh, if you go to the dictionary, The other words of repay. My gadget is very slow. 
The other word of repay, first of all, we, we can see it, uh, you can say recoup, uh -huh. return, uh -huh. rebus, uh -huh. compensate, yeah. yeah. payback. Yeah. Now, which one do you want uh, to use? I can see. Compensate. Yeah, compensate. compensate. Yeah. Compensate. People like compensation. <laughs> now, today, God is telling us for, for whatever we have been lost, God will rebirth. God will compensate. Praise the name of the Lord. We might look back yeah, at a time we might look back at the be sad to realize that there are many years in the past that were eaten up by locusts, as I said, cankerworm, caterpillars, blah, blah. And this, all this is a part of sin. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes we look back. Not only the sin, even liberiousness. Joel described perfectly what life was like before we repented, where, we, where was pain and discovery. I think each of one here, if we can flash back our minds before we get the salvation of Jesus Christ, we had a life to live. Yeah. Many live, many were criminals, many were rebellious. Uh -huh. Some of us here, uh -huh. if we can testify where we come from, yeah. even though me, I was a just up, right? <laughs> yeah? I was not like uh, my friend Chege here. <laughs> But, but all this does not matter. Yes, yes. It is not for either you are criminal or you are harboursness. <laughs> yeah? But all this depends on your heart. Yes. Because the Bible says, for the, because of one man or the sin entered to the whole world. So even now, even if we were criminal, even as we were humble, but don't misquote me. I didn't see Chege was a criminal. <laughs> Please. Okay. The good news is that God has promised to restore us from all the troubles of our past. Pray the name of the Lord. As I say that... Uh, Previous Sunday, the last Sunday, every time here, our Reverend give us take home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But many of us is just take home as we were told. Yeah. I don't know how many can remember about the, our last time, the previous take home. Uh, as I said here, the previous take home for last week, the first one was, you can trust Jesus if he say it will happen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pray the name of the Lord. That is why I say this morning that a good thing is that if God promised, he will do. I don't know this morning, you have come here. I don't know what you have talked with God with your heart. Yeah. But uh, you know some of us, many of us have just, it is a monotony to, to come to the church, you worship, there is no any agreement between me and the God. Mm -hmm. But it is better to, to ask God. When, or whenever we come to the house of God, it is better to have an agreement or a request to God. That is why Today, God has promised to restore us from all the troubles of our past. 
at uh, the heart ache from the broken relationship, the struggles from defeat, at the frustration of our life. Pray the name of the Lord. In our lives, we pass through many difficult things. There are those, I don't know if you are here, there are those who have a broken relationship. Even if you are, even those who are online, you are there. You are sitting there. The relationship has been broken. But today, God is speaking to us. I'm coming to restore. Pray the name of the Lord. It doesn't matter if there are the struggles of the, about defeat. Many of us, we are defeated. So many times, yes, Kesia. We were defeated. Yes. If it is yes. those defeat, we could not be here. Yes. Huh? Uh -huh. Life. When I flash back, the life was so good. But remember when uh, it was 20, 2020, April, I remember that time, that is the time uh, I resigned from where I was working. So in the month of uh, March, March 20th, I start a business there at, uh, in town, at Mfagano Street. But unfortunately, it was on Wednesday. On Friday, they defeat the lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. The lockdown, the whole country. You have invested your money there. But since that time, since 2020, the lockdown, we have not at least recaptured. That's right. But today, God is here. That is why he is saying, I will restore. I will compensate. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Today, you see some of us, we are in a business of uh, transport. The transport is paralyzed because of our economy. But God is not looking about the economy. For those who are trusting in him, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes, uh, as I said here this morning, in transport, I am sometimes looked about my drivers, about the conductors, uh, for the whole day. You see, when you take your vehicle to the air, is it air gas or petrol station? It consumes everything. Sometimes driver go without a salary, conductor, the owner, but we are trying to do this, this, this. But that is why today God is say, speaking to us that I will come to compensate. Praise the name of the Lord. Not only me, I know each and everyone here, even in our, the whole country. Yeah, people are struggling. But for those who are trust God, God will recoup. God will reimburse. God will pay back. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Struggle from defeat and the frustrations. Those are frustrations. Sometimes even we see here we are coming to church. Yeah? The life has been frustrating many people. But I'm here to tell you, don't worry. If God promised, there is a, a, a good promise. At all times that we felt broken beyond the repairs, sometimes you feel even if you go to garage, you cannot be repaired. But our God is good. He repairs well. Yes. Uh -huh. He repairs our heart. Yes. He gives us back the happiness of our salvation. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. God, <clears throat> God has promised to restore. We cannot change the past. We cannot go back and do things over again. But from this moment forward, we can give over to God our anxiety, you are here this morning. Yes. You came here with a lot of anxiety. Give it to God. Amen. You have come with a lot of burden. Yes. 
give it to God. You, you are on the online, give it to God. God will restore it in the name of Jesus. Uh, we can learn anxiety of the past and trust him to restore what he has been lost. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, the Lord promised Israel through Joel that after a time of, after time of famine at the bright, he would, he would heal the Yalad. God told King Solomon, if my people who are called by my name will help themselves at the pray, at the seek my face, at the turn from the wicked way, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and will heal the Yalad. Praise the name of the Lord. Here, God is saying, if, if, if my people, for those who know English or the te teachers, so I'm not the teacher of English, but here I know that if, if, if you told me if, Steve, if, I know. So I can decide not to. Is it true? Yes. I can decide not to, but I can decide to. So that is why here the Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, that if my people who are called by my name, you know what? There are those, there are a lot of those people who are not called by his name. But today, God is speaking to us that all those people who are called by his name. Hallelujah. Those people and we are among them, those people will help themselves if you will help yourself. And they pray and they seek my face and they turn from wicked way. Sometimes I say that here this morning that sometimes we turn from God. Yeah? We know the way. We, each of us know the way. But they decide not to. To follow God's word. Pray the name of the Lord. Another uh, in Numbers 14, verse 8. Even look here. The Bible says, If the Lord is priest with us, He will lead us into the land, a land flowing with milk and the honey. And he will give it, pray the name of the Lord. Amen. So the Bible is telling us in Second Chronicles, for those people, if you decide, if you turn from the, your wickedness and they come back and they seek the Lord, when God is there, when he is pleased because of you, he will come. Pray the name of the Lord. Amen. He will heal us from heaven. And he will, for, he will forgive our sins. And he will heal our Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So, now here, uh, another, uh, in, uh, another in, in, in James 2, verse 17, it says, If, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Pray the name of the Lord. So now here, for those who are called by his name, we have something called faith. And here, James said that if your faith is not accompanied by action, that faith is dead. Pray the name of the Lord. So today, when God is coming to repay back, to compensate us, to recoup, to rebirth, hallelujah, yes. we are here to be, we are those, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Mark, Mark 9, 23. 
This is when, if you, if you can, if you can, Jesus said, everything is possible for one who believes. So we are here. Whenever we say, uh, the Bible tell, telling us that he is coming to, to restore us. This is why, remember here in Mark 9, chapter 9, that is when there was a father, the son was, was sick. When he go to, uh, to Jesus, Jesus tell him, if you can, everything is possible for those who believe. So today as a church, you are here. You are here. But you see it is very difficult for God to, to, for God to restore. But what we need here is just to believe. If we believe him, everything will be all right. Through, the, through repentance, everything that had been lost by sin is restored. I don't know how many things that you have lost because of the sin. God is coming to restore. For those who are here, for those who are online, I don't know, this is God speaking to you, that for everything that you lost because of the sin, if you humble yourself, if you seek God, if you pray, if you humble yourself, God will come and restore. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, in itself, uh, a deadly sin is an a parable, evil. It deprives the soul of grace, of its hope of glory. It forfeits heaven. It merits hell. Through Christ, restore the sinners, brought out our sin, and it does, does away with it internal consequences. He, he restores the sinner where he was before he fell. God spoke through prophet Ezekiel. That is why I say, eh? others say Ezekiel. <laughs> others say Ezekiel like me. Uh -huh. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 18. 18, 21 to 22. But if a wicked person turns away from all the sin they have committed, and they keep on my decree, and they does not, does what it is just and right, that person will surely live. They will not die. Pray the name of the Lord. You know, you know what? Sin kills. Sin kills. That is why you see some people, we, they don't have uh, that happiness of the salvation, that joy of the salvation. But here Bible says, uh, 22, none of the offenses, none of the offenses they have committed will be remembered again, against them. Because of the righteous thing they have done, they will live. Praise the name of the Lord. This is God, whoever, whenever he promised a good thing, he will do. Yes. Yes. So, whenever that, that is why, as a God restore our wasted year, he brings forth us in a supernatural joy, revelation, peace, victory, beyond all human ability. Praise the name of the Lord. The enemy will, will always be ready to intimidate and the halas, but we need to do what Paul said. Forget those things which are, that is Philippian, Philippian 3, 13. Whenever Satan come to intimidate you, whenever Satan come and they say you cannot do it, remember this. Paul said, Brother and sisters, I can I consider 
myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, for de- forgetting what is behind and the straining toward what is ahead. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh-huh. Continue. I press. Look here. Paul is saying, I'm striving. Then he is saying, I press on toward the goal to win the prize. For which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. What is your goal in this life of, our, of the salvation? What is your goal? Now here, that is why Paul is saying, I am pressing on. I'm pressing on. I'm pressing on. If I had time, I could give you the word press. What it means. I can say, do you can say pursue? Recover? Everything? Satan has stolen. Press. Praise, praise the name of the Lord. That is why Paul Say, I press on. And I said at the first service, I said that I remember in 1968, Marathon, which was uh, in Mexico City. Huh? But this is just to remember. I was not there in 1968. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So in 1968, there was a marathon but there was this guy called uh, John Stephen. I don't know why he was called like our, <laughs> my friend here. John, John Stephen was a, a Tanzania guy who was representing the TZ for the marath- marathon that year, 1968. But do you know what uh, John said? Oh, but after marathon, after the marathon, when all people have finished the marathon, Stephen, after one hour, he was finishing. After one hour. Did you know what uh, John said? John said that uh, my country did not send me here to start the, to start the marathon. But my goal, it was to fail, to finish. Praise the name of the Lord. So, what is our goal? And that is why uh, Paul said that he always press on. He always press on. Whenever life, you, whenever you struggle, whenever you pass many things, you still struggle. You still press. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, in uh, this word is uh, hard for me. Ek, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Noel, can you? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Ecclesiastes. Okay, chapter 9, yes. verse 11. This is the King Solomon. Yeah. I have seen something else under the, under the sun. The race is not for the swift, nor or law or the battle to the strong. Nor does food come to the wise. All wealth, the brilliant or favor, to the learned, but time and the chance happen to them more. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Remember, Solomon was the guy who was uh, given all the wisdom. All the wisdom he has. But here he say, under this sun, under this sun, not uh, there or where, under this sun, he said, the race is not for the swift. 
Noah the battle is not for the strong. Remember children of Israel. Whenever they go to battle, it is not by might, nor by power, but, but the Spirit of God. Remember even, if you can remember the, the small village was called I. When God told those people to go and fight, remember for the army, I don't know, here were, uh, my left red mark, yeah. If you, know, if you want to know about army, you can see left red mark. <laughs> for the army to go to fight, and God is telling people to take the trumpet, not the gun, not the machine gun. It is to, to just take the trumpet. Just go a day, go round that village. That, what formula is that uh, in Nami? <laughs> John Chege? Is there any formula like that? Yes. It's just to follow the instruction. So these people had guns, had everything to fight, but God told them, go just, go loud. So here formula is just to follow the instruction. Yes. We as a church, we have to follow the instruction. <laughs> For our commander, whenever he tell us, let us follow the instruction. So today he is telling us, I'm coming to restore. So the things as our army of Christ, is just to follow the instruction. Hallelujah. Amen. That's good. We should forget our past and the present in Jesus. We need to take those old words. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think you are here this morning. If we open, if we can open your heart, that is why God Hide the, the heart. Eh? If you can, we can open that heart. Many of us here, they, are, they have a lot of words. They have a lot, a lot, a lot. But here, we are here to open to our God those words, the worries, of, uh, the worries and the hearts nagging about our wasted year. And let God restore to us the every year that we were lost. Then press, or press on toward the price of your high calling in him. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you know what are the problem of us? It is because sometimes we follow those others. Like, for example, let me use our pastor. Some of us, we can follow Leverage Stan. Yeah? Always. But we are, I, I'm happy for our reverend, for our pastor, because always whenever he is here, he is telling us, he is telling us, look for the Christ. Even us, even him himself, he is pressing all on toward who he is called to. Pray the name of the Lord. You know today, if today... Uh, Leverett, pastoral team, together with the Wase, if they decide at that today, ah, we have uh, resigned, or we are not following the Christ, mm -hmm. where will you be? Will you be from there back better to come here? Yeah? When we were young, <clears throat> the one who, who was mentoring me, he told me always, be ready to everything in the house of God. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. But there are those people who don't know that Jesus is the one who is calling us. Mm -hmm. If I decide, like let me use uh, the example for me and my family here. If I decide today, I will not following the Christ. I don't know where the family. Julia, Sophie, will you decide to say, no, I'm born to the Christ? 
We are not born in, to our father. Our father is not calling us. You guys, young generation, why are you going to other things? Yeah? Remember who called us. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, in Isaiah 43, 25, I even, I am who brought to your transgression for my own sake. And remember, you are seen no more. Jesus is telling us today, if and if you, yesterday, remember where you passed. Yeah. Even if yesterday you did one, two, three, if you humble yourself, if you call upon your name, the, the God's name, he will not remember our sin. Isaiah for the 43, 18, you can go back 18 to 19, 18, 19. The Bible says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on past. Hallelujah. Our problem is to dwell on our past. Uh -huh. huh? Many the people here, even if I'm here, they are those loved, uh, they are saying, Look, that guy. Mm -hmm. But please, I'm not dwelling there. Yeah. Me, I'm looking before. Yeah. I'm looking ahead. Yeah. yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. See, I'm doing a new thing. Yeah. Now it is, it is spring up. Do not be perceived it. I am making a way in the wilderness and the stream in the wild waste land. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Yeah, so, my people, let us not dwell in the past. Let us not dwell there. If God promises, you know what me like today, in this year, if, the, if God is the story of us, it is better to start with me. <laughs> to speak the truth. Yeah, because those things that I have, the things that are before me, they are so many. But I know God is God for promises. And now, take home. As I said earlier, that uh, always every Sabbath, we go home with uh, a good thing. Pastor is not telling us uh, like those people. I, I normally hear people saying, take it to the bank. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Have you ever heard that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, take it to the bank. Mm -hmm. So after taking it to the bank, then <laughs> are you going, when are we going to withdraw? Huh? Peter. Yeah. But now here, every now and then, Pasi is there, he is giving us the previous uh, the take home. Always, every Saturday, every Saturday. I, I want we flash back our mind for the previous take home Sunday, last Saturday. Mm -hmm. The first take home was saying, you can trust Jesus if he say he will, it will happen. If God says yes, no, but they can say? No. I remember this song when we were at Sunday school. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. With a lot of confidence. Imagine. But nowadays, where are we? Yeah. Yeah? Even when uh, Mary or Fro, whenever he say, when Jesus we say, when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Look, but that time we had uh, confidence. Take up your cross and follow me. Not me. Follow Christ. 
Even if you follow me, the far I can take you is just to Nanyuki. <laughs> just to Nanyuki where my home is. But then from there, you carry your cross. Yeah? So, there are, there, are, there are hope for restoration. God uses a store, restored vessel. That was last week. Read the name of the Lord. And that is why here, I'm the, as a vessel, God can use me. Yeah, even you, don't fear. If God called you, go there straight. So now, today's take home. The first take home for today, God restores soul. Souls, our souls. He restores my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Psalms 23, 3. If you read 23, verse 1, this is where he, David say, God is my shepherd. Yeah. Even if I say shepherd, it's okay. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it is right. Okay. Now here in verse 3, it says, he leads me in the path of the righteousness of his namesake. And I said, uh, where is my, I had a key, key, but it's okay. I can demonstrate with this. Uh, a good shepherd, ah, good, good. It can be broken. Huh? Oh. So, in a, a good shepherd is whenever you do the shepherding. Whenever, let me use this, that one. A good shepherd has a staff and something called the Lord. A good shepherd has two states. For one, for the staff is whenever you go astray. You know there are so many chips that... Huh? <laughs> okay, whenever you go astray... A staff is for, for correcting you yeah. 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 or giving you a discipline. Yeah. But there is a Lord. A Lord is a stake that has a hook there. So whenever you fall somewhere, the good shepherd, they use that Lord to, to pick. Pray the name of the Lord. So that is why the Bible is saying, is telling us, God restores soul. The second take home, God restores joy of salvation. Restore me the joy. Okay, Psalms 51, Psalms 51, 12. Psalms Restore me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Pray the name of the Lord. This is the King David. King David would, would not have request, requested for the restoration of the joy. This is King David said, God, restore, restore me. Remember, King David did a lot of things. He did always. But by the end of the day, what did God say about the David's heart? Yeah, he has that willing spirit to sustain you. That willing, even if it's a cast ball portion. God is seeing nobody else have the heart of after his own heart. So, many have, don't have the, the joy of the, the salvation. Sometimes we come here broken hearted, frustrated. We come here, we are rejuvenated. But by the end of the day, after 12 30, you go back to where then? But allow God to give you that spirit so that he can sustain you. Number three, 
I can hear a keyboard man. Let's, God restore health. He restored health. And I said it here, like two years ago, my mom got sick. But whenever I went there to the hospital, I saw this is, I didn't want to say it, but what I told God, I told him, this is not the time. But today, that woman where he, he is, is about 80, 80, 85 years. Yeah? Where she is, she is healed, she is health. Look what God can do. Amen. I remember that time uh, our left was at Canada. Yeah. So I asked myself, who am I going to call? My pastor is not. He is out of the country. Eh, who else? But in my heart, I know it is only God who can call and they answer you. Sometimes, anyway, you can call me. Hey, Steve, you know I'm, uh, I am somewhere, eh? but I cannot help you. But call upon the name of the Lord. Pray the name of the Lord. So that time, but today my mother has a good health. Uh, Second King 7, 7, 3. Remember here. Now here, for these people to, to be restored with the health. Now, there were four men. These were Steve, John, Chege. Oh, no, John Chege is one. Oh, there is another Chege. Okay. Let me say that. John Chege for four men. Four men, these were four men with the leprosy. At the entrance of the city gate. This is the city gate. Now, which is the city gate of our Nairobi? Either on the east, on the south, on the west, on the east. There are so many gates. These people were taken there. Four of them. So these people are good because they were saying, they said to each other, huh? I see now Steve, Steve-O talking to them because uh, sometimes Steve, he normally talks. He said to each other, why stay here until we die? Today, why are you staying there until you die? Neke, what is that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, why? Why are you staying there until you die? Uh -huh. For if we say, if we say, now here, uh, Steve is trying to to pursue all to persuade all these people. That is why he's, they are saying, if we say, as a group, if we say, we will go into the city. So now they come from uh, the gate to enter the city. The famine is there. And if and we will die. And if we stay here, we will die. So let us go over to the camp of the um, men. And the Sareda, ourselves. This is Chege saying this. He wants to surrender himself. If the, no, these people are saying, if we stay here, why don't we surrender ourselves? If they want to kill us, if they want to save us, it's okay. If they spare us, we live. If they kill us, then we die. Now here, look. When God heard about these people, when they look their hearts, when they decided, can you five? 
at, at dusk they got up and they went to the camp of the Armenians. When they reached the edge of the camp, no one was there. No one was? Imagine God. No one was there. This is just the, the, the faith. Hmm? For the Lord, why was not anybody there? Because for the Lord had caused the Aramean to hear the sound of the chariot and the horses and they agreed on me so that they said to one another, look, the king of Israel has hired the heights. These were the Haiti. Hittites. So it is not Haiti. <laughs> okay. They hired the Hittites and the Egyptian king to attack us. Praise the name of the Lord. So when you decide, when you involve God to your decision, God will make a miracle. Praise the name of the Lord. Now here, look, they had a lot of, like, uh, chariots. Poop, 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 until the army ran away. So, let us have that heart. When God comes to restore, that is the time they restored for these four men. Number four. Take care of you. Pray the name of the Lord. As I conclude, I would like to each of us to have this heart or prayer, to make a prayer like this. May the God who restored Moses, the leadership of Moses, remember, when uh, Moses went up to the mountain, everything he found, the people had messed up. But after that, God restored the, le the leadership. Praise the name of the Lord. Also, the God who restored Samson to the strength and the victory. Remember, Samson was a, was a man of God, but because of the sin, yeah? He lost everything. But God who restored, one day he restored the strength of sometimes we ask ourselves, can I be like the last time? But God come, can come to double that. Job to the health and the wealth. Remember the life of Job. Huh? He had everything, but for the time, he lost everything. But when God came to restore, there was no healthier man than Job. Praise the name of the Lord. Finally, Peter to the ministry. Peter to the ministry. Last Saturday, our reverend was speaking about Peter. Peter was uh, somebody who feared. Eh? But remember, when God restored, now this is Peter, Jesus, when Jesus was... <clears throat> Just <a minute. clears throat> remember, Jesus told Peter, that through you I will build a church. At the gate of shall not. Yeah, even today, God can speak to us. God can start with us. So welcome. Let's go.
Uh, hopefully you all definitely got a hold of that. That was a rich word, some deep truths in there. And actually, I'm not going to uh, try to expound on anything Steve said. He really got to the heart of the matter. Um, but restoration is something that we have been, it's, for a couple weeks now, it's been at the forefront of, of our church. Uh, it came up in a, our nation to nation classes, and then, you know, our worship leader wasn't there, Michelle wasn't there, Pastor Stanley wasn't there. But then, when uh, last week on Sunday, uh, restoration was kind of strung throughout the entire service. And so, definitely, this is something God is speaking to our church, I think. And Steve really uh, just brought it today and just brought it to, uh, uh, to the forefront that God is speaking restoration to us. And we believe uh, in a God that loves to restore things. And as a church, we believe God restores things. Um, I'll just end with this scripture from Isaiah 42. This actually was brought up in our Nation and Nation class. This passage is, is called the blindness of the people. In, in Isaiah 42, 22, it says, And this is a people robbed and plundered, all of them are snared in holes, and they are hidden in prison houses. They are for prey, and no one delivers, for plunder, and no one says restore. And it, uh, listen, this is us. This is where all of us uh, were. And, and you know, we're, we are all in that place. We are all in that, that place. But just a couple verses below that. God intervenes. No one was saying restore because no one could restore, but God restores. And in 40, Isaiah 43, um, verse 1, it says, But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. God restores, God saves. And, and that is just, thank you so much for a rich word today, Steve. Uh, that was that was a blessing. Let us pray. God, thank you for this opportunity to come into your house. Thank you uh, for just your Holy Spirit being with us here from beginning to end, through the worship, through through the giving of the word, through our time of prayer, even with the children singing to us, Lord. Lord, your Spirit has been with us today and we thank you for that and we thank you that you are a God who restores no matter how hopeless the situation seems no matter how frustrated we are no matter how many times that we feel we have failed and there's no getting back what we have lost Lord you are a God who restores you are a God who will meet us in the midst of that situation and pull us out of it and place us back upon firm ground. And we thank you for that, Lord. I ask, Lord, that you bless everyone that is here today. Keep your hand of provision and protection upon each house, Lord. And as you bring this theme of restoration in, into our hearts and minds again today, Lord, I ask, Lord, that we walk forward in the restoration that you have given us, Lord, that we have a new, a breath of fresh air into our spirits, Lord, as you restore us again and reignite us again, Lord, and let us walk in that restoration throughout this week and well beyond that into the coming month, into the coming year, Lord. Let this word sink deep into our hearts and, and sit there. Let's dwell upon it and meditate on it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And may each of you be blessed throughout the rest of the week.